how to set up Shopify payment gateway for your country. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can set up your Shopify payment gateway. And having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, I'm on this website on Shopify and you can easily sign up by entering in your email address and clicking on start free trial. Now for this video, I'm going to be using a temporary email. So I'm just simply going to copy this email and I'm going to click over here and click on start free trial. Now I've already created an account, so I'm just simply going to go ahead and log in. You know, creating an account is very simple. You just have to enter in your email address, you know, answer a bunch of questions and you're good to go. Just simply going to go ahead and log in and I'll get started. So once you've created an account, this is how it's going to look like. You're going to arrive over here onto your dashboard. Over here, as you can see, um, you have a bunch of different options. Over here, you have your ad product, customized theme, ad pages, organized navigation, ad domain, and many, many more. And then over here on the left side, you have other options such as home order product, you know, customer analytics. Over here, you're going to have a bunch of different other options as well. You can go ahead and check that out. Now, first things first let me just show you how you can set up your account and then i will show you how you can you know set up your payment method as well so first let me just add in the product now there are basically two ways to add products you can enter in your products manually or within a second way as well which i will show you so for manually just simply click on add products and over here you're going to be taken over here onto this website and over here you just simply enter in your details of their product manually like its weight its color its you know description the title the price everything manually or what you can do is you can go into the apps over here and you have this application called Obrello dropshipping app and you just simply click on it and this will help you to add products from various other websites such as aliexpress into your shopify account and then you can sell those products as well so really simple really easy so let me just show you so over here we're just simply going to click on add app over here and it's going to take us over to the installation page where we just have to simply click on install app to you know get started and over here as you can see we're done we are good to go and now we are also logged in as well so if you don't create an account you can go ahead and do that as well i've already created an account so i'm good to go now let's go ahead and add some products so over here into products we click on product and it's going to take us over here where we find a bunch of different products and i already have this one so let me just go ahead and you know click on find products over here and we can find more products so as you can see this is aliexpress over here we have a bunch of different products we can choose whichever one we want so we have a bunch of different categories over here such as men's clothing women's clothing toys beauty health mother and kids home garden jewelry accessory and many many more what we're going to do is we're going to click on men's clothing and find a nice product so over here we have a bunch of different products right so we have let's say this product right here we want to get this product into our you know shopify account we want to sell this product what we'll do is we'll simply click on add to you know import list it's going to add the product into our import list and if we go into the import list we will find the product right here now over here we can go ahead and edit the product meaning we can change the title change the variants of the product change the prices description images and all that so let's go ahead and change the you know product so for this one i'm gonna go ahead and say you know change this one over here i'm gonna simply gonna call it men's street wear pants boom that's it and then we have variants over here you can go ahead and keep the variants here you have different prices now i want like a large medium small extra large and boom that's it i don't want the super extra large or double xl or triple xl i just want the first four and we're good to go next we go into the pricing section so over here we have the pricing and this is the price the original price over here you know the cost is going to be this one all right and then we have shipping and then we have the profit as well so i want to sell this for five thousand per product or maybe even lower let's say 4500 yeah i think that's good and once that's done we just simply click on the description over here we can add the description as well so this is everything that's going to be needed to know about the product then we have images we can go ahead and add in the different images so let's say this is the first one then we want an image from the back we want the image from the front we want an outdoor image you know from the sides from the other side yeah i think that's good and then we just simply click on import store and then just wait a couple of seconds for it to be imported and we are good to go so now that the product's been imported we're going to go back to your shopify store and see over here this is the product so pretty simple really good now 
what we can do is we can actually go ahead and sell it so to sell it what we need to do is we need to add a bunch of different let's say sales channels so to add a sales channels you have a bunch of different options you have your own website as well you can you know integrate it with your wordpress website or what you can do is you can add a sales channel over here with google with you know point of sale facebook whatever and you can add them and then you can sell the product over here but that's not what we're here to do but that's not the point of this video what the point of this video is to tell you how to set up your payment you know option what we'll do is we'll go into settings option all right and over here we have store details we have plans we have billings user permissions payments checkouts stuff like that we'll go into payment section over here and over here we have a bunch of different options we have payment providers all right provide that enables you to accept payments methods at a rate set by the third party so we can choose that or supported payment methods or manual payment methods so let's go ahead and click on supported payment methods first because these are the payment methods that are going to be supported over here so over here we can search for visa mastercard american express whatever you want so let's say we want visa mastercard all right and maybe even a bunch of more we have cryptocurrencies as well if you want to you know accept cryptocurrency you can do that but we want like paypal as well and let's say yeah american express and once that's done this is the one that we have over here and then we just simply click on activate all right it has literally everything and uh, you know we just simply click on activate payment well okay so first things we need to you know learn about payment well what it is over here we have the account information we have the public key and the private key all right we need to sign up over here onto payment well enter in your first name your last name your phone number shopify store id your email address your password and then you can confirm your password as well so let's get into it you can do that one over here or what you can do is you can go into the third party checkout as well and over here you have a bunch of different other ones now this is one of the popular ones to check out account it's very easy to actually you know start with as well and what you can do is just click on two checkouts and over here they basically tell you how to do it so you create an account all right you log in and activate your true checkout account. You access the integration to webhook and API section under the C panel, and you add and copy the C panel merchant code and paste it in the merchant code field. You generate a new INS secret word and section and you paste it over there. And then you click on save settings and in the redirect URL, check the enable return after sale. And for the redirect URL section, leave blank and Shopify will would provide the return URL. And for return method select harder redirect and then just simply click on save settings so that's how you basically add the two checkout account so as you can see we have the merchant code over here we have the secret code over here so we could go ahead and set that up as well let's go ahead and create a two checkout account as well first i'm going to create a two checkout account so over here you sign up for free it's very simple you just sign up for free click over here we just add in a bunch of different informations and we're good to go and then this is how it's going to look like you're going to create an account once you've entered in your detail what type of product you want to sell with two checkouts so it's either digital products slash software online services retail slash physical products and stuff like that we want you know physical products and then we just simply want to click on create account and then boom there you go then we just simply click on log into my account and we are good to go as i said before i was using you know my temporary email so let me just go ahead and refresh the message list real quick okay we don't have it so we're good to go all right now we just sign in with our account we click on sign in and over here boom we're good to go so over here let's say that as i said before you know what did they say we need to log in and activate our two checkout account right so then we want to access the integrations and webhook api section in the c panel right let's go ahead and go into the integrations over here we have the webhook and api over here and over here we have the publish key we have the private key we have the secret word over here we have the buy link and ins over here secret word we have the ins system we can enable that and when we have the redirect urls notifications and notification url as well so it's really simple it's really easy now we just simply you know copy and paste it but before we can do all of that we need to first you know activate our account because this is just you know demo account so let's go ahead and click on start verification and you know move on so to verify our account we just have to enter in the company you know name so the company name can be this one over here all right over here you put in your national identification number enter in your phone number your fiscal address 
and your postal code and you're good to go so i'm gonna actually go ahead and finish this up and i'll catch you guys in a second now actually this is pretty important over here you have to enter in your payment method as well i entered in payoneer or wire transfer you can go ahead and do that and the payout currency can be in usd and then what you can do is just simply click on next then you have your documentations over here you just and put your documentations over here you know your valid government id you know official valid proof of address and stuff like that meaning a utility bill or a bank statement should be fine as well then you have other documents as well so you can go ahead and add that now this is pretty you know detailed i don't want to you know make a very verified account over here so we're just simply going to save and you know do that for later we're going to continue with the demo account for now because i'm pretty sure they've given us all the other information so it should work so as i said before over here you know access the integration web hub and in your cpanel over here under api section copy the merchant code and paste it in the merchant code over here so you will find your merchant code over here as you can see in the api over here we just simply copy this code now granted this code is fake it's not a real code because all of the data is a you know sample data so it might not work so over here we paste the merchant code and then we have the secret code the secret key this is the secret key over here we just simply copy this key as well and we have the secret word over here we don't need the secret key for now as you can see so this is going to be your secret word all right we just simply paste it over here and now we click on next and click on activate to checkout account and you will be good to go pretty much it actually you can go ahead and you know view this one as well you can generate the ins number over here and you can generate the you know bilink secret word and you can add in all of the other you know redirect reels as the instructions say over here and once you've done that your account should be good to go your checkout account will be you know activated and you can start accepting payments from all around the world so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye